Hello and welcome back to Weekends with Whitney. I'm your host, Whitney Allen, and today's show has been called No Limits, and we've introduced you to people that have not let any obstacles stop them. I'm joined now by a woman who was at the peak of her career modeling, swimsuit model in her 20s, and was given just days to live. Deborah Shemesh, welcome to the show. Thank you for the opportunity, Whitney. Well, I just told a little bit of your story, but I gave them just a sliver a bit of the information. You were in your 20s and you got diagnosed with cancer. Tell us what that was like. It was very shocking for me as a model. It was very devastating because I had always put my looks in front of everything. I had always exercised and eaten very nutritiously. So having a diagnosis of melanoma really put me in a tailspin. I could only imagine. And to be at your peak of your career, so many people work so hard to get to that level you were at and then to have some kind of setback. But it went away, so you thought you had a son and it came back. And this time, they gave you just days to live. Tell us, what was that like? Whitney, that was a, a very challenging time for me. Uh, I had to become a patient active. I had to learn how to take better control of my life and figure out what I would do with my precious son if indeed the doctor's prognosis were correct. Mm. And it was melanoma cancer. And tell us what exactly they thought caused it. You were raised in Chicago. Yes, I was raised in the city of Chicago and used to go to Rainbow Beach all the time with my family. And the doctors had told me that one, sun, one ba bad sunburn as a child can uh, change the body on a cellular level and predispose you to uh, the diagnosis of melanoma. So we figured that it was from the sun mm. that caused the disease. So you're, you're trying to make arrangements just in case the doctor's prognosis was right, trying to figure out what to do with your precious son. And I was reading up on you and your story is so incredible and we're just getting a little bit of it right now, but at one point, you're in the hospital bed and people are saying their goodbyes and they're telling basically it was a good run. How did that, that moment when you're like, I'm still here, I'm still alive, how did that feel? I was in disbelief, I was in shock and I just knew that I had to let the spirit out of me. I had to make room in my body for my spirit to come forward and, and and claim my life. Mm. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I, I knew I didn't want to die. Wow, and that fighter spirit, I feel like, is what really has brought you to where you are today. And tell us where you are today. I mean, this was years ago. They gave you days to live, and now here you are. What are you doing today? Well, Whitney, I'm doing everything today. I've, uh, I'm in development status of a nonprofit organization. I teach yoga to people who have handicaps. I also teach meditation and I have a workshop for uh, young people called First Impressions which teaches them how to model and present their best self. Oh wow. It sounds I, al like I also have wonderful art that I sell wow. and share with my community and the world hopefully. Wow, I love it. It feels like, it sounds like and looks like and I just can see through you that you are living life to the max. In fact, that's one of your paintings behind you. Yes, it is. I just love it. Wow. Thank so you. where can people find out more about you? Well, have them visit www.debrashemish.com for more information on Ziploid Foundation and or purchasing some of my art cards. And 10% of all the proceeds go to UCLA Melanoma Center. So hopefully the doctors can find a tumor marker so they can diagnose melanoma when it gets uh, early uh, inception into the body. Oh, I love it. Your story is so encouraging. Well, I appreciate you so much for coming on the show today, opening up about what you went through. That's a hard, even to go back and replay that in your mind, that can be hard. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I feel like our audience is just going to be inspired by all of our guests today. Thank you so much, Deborah. Well, guys, you have it. We have just introduced you to four incredible people. And everyone, no matter what their situation, they made the best of it and kept living life. And look what they're doing today. That's kind of just the thought of not giving up. I hope you feel motivated. And of course, will join us, will join us right back here next Saturday and Sunday as we look into another amazing topic. We'll see you right back here next weekend.